So our friend Ted came over and he's helping us turn off the hot water heater and maybe I can hook up. Turn the hot water heater switch off. It's off. It's off. Okay. Is the, is the uh, breaker off? You shut the breaker yes. off. I didn't turn off the breaker. I think I did. Anyway, we're going to divert things here and then we're going to detach the sink in the kitchen. So you hit this pop off valve. Yeah. What that does is it lets air in to let the water out. And where's that draining to? Do we know? This is just an air vent. Oh. Open the hot water side of your um, kitchen sink. Kitchen sink. Okay. So what I did here was set this up for winterizing. So when this is turned open, the, it goes through here. When it's shut off, it'll go through here. These would be open. So this is the position it would be on when you're using the hot water tank. When you're winterizing, you turn this off and you turn that off and you open this. So now this antifreeze goes, stops here, stops here, but goes through here and doesn't get into the hot water tank, which is what you want because the hot water tank needs to be clear water and not loaded with antifreeze. So that's set up for winterizing as it stands right now. By 20 and a little shy. You can just make it a little bit smaller. You don't have to make and it exact. 33 and a half. 33 and a half. That's a little smaller. You can see the picture. You can see the lines better. What lines? That you're going to be making. 33 and a half. You should go the other way with it. Why? What did I say? 20 and a half? Or 20 and a quarter. You're cutting it the wrong way. What are you it should be long about? this way. Look. It's right there already. I'm trying to not throw the whole piece out. How is that going to work? Did you do this? What did I say? 33 and a half? Right to there. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put some contact or liquid nails down. Mel, don't make a mess. I'll get it.
so we're using this compressor and this is a uh, like a tire pump and that little piece there which is small enough that it will go there and I'll put a I'll go like that and I'll put a towel around that and push up on it without pushing on this to try to push the air through and winterize. Once we were finished with blowing all the air out, we poured antifreeze for an RV down all of the drains so they were in the traps. Uh, there was three sinks, two toilets, and one tub and one shower. All of those were pushed with uh, the special antifreeze. And as far as the toilet goes, that was a bit of a trick. We put some down the, the the tank, not the tank, but the, the bowl itself, and then took a plunger and pushed it down in. And we also put some in the tank, actually, behind it to try and um, make sure that that was filled with antifreeze also. And hopefully in the spring we'll be good. <laughs>